Hey guys, this is Octavian from itouchapps.net here. And in this video, I'm gonna review an app called PickFX, which is created by Active Development, costs $1.99, and is available on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So um, right here, if we get started, you can see that there's a, a empty space at the bottom. I'm not really sure why that shows up, or if it's just my phone. Uh, but let me just uh, import a photo that we can start editing. I'm going to uh, import this photo of uh, a pineapple and I can choose to crop it or I can choose not to crop it. I'm going to go ahead and crop it for now. And once I've selected the photo, the effect manager will come up and I'll be able to add effects to my photo. Now the cool thing about this app is that there's over a hundred different effects. You can see right here they're organized by grunge, space, uh, uh, classics, vintage, and so forth. And these effects that you see here, um, they can all be combined uh, with other effects uh, in limitless combinations. You can add unlimited effects to a photo. So uh, let me show you just how cool that is. Uh, if you're if you're an effects fanatic or you like to you know create cool photos like this uh, you'll definitely appreciate uh, the functionality of this app so I've added this effect to it but I'm not done I want to add another one so I hit the other effect layer button right here uh, you can see it it's yep you press it right there and it adds another layer and then for that layer I can select a whole other effect and I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, maybe this one. All right, so that's that looks pretty cool so far. Uh, let me add some uh, space effects now. Add another layer, and then I can select another effect for my image. So I'm gonna add this uh, stellar effect right here. Uh, it's like a space effect. And um, other thing you can do is if you go to uh, that paintbrush icon right here you can select how this layer is going to blend with the layer underneath it so if I put it to uh, black and white it makes it black and white uh, if I put it to blue strike it's going to add some blues in there uh, that weren't in there when it was blending normally see the, the blues were not strong or I can add uh, a warm tone to it and so forth so once I've done that, um, I can either save the app, or if I want to add more effects, uh, I can, uh, you know, add another layer and add that effect that I'm looking for. Here I'm going to add a torn effect uh, to the edges, and then I just remembered that I should add some light effects uh, to the to the image as well to brighten it up a bit. Uh, these are these are light effects. Uh, as you can see, they they add kind of like uh, little light dimples and whatnot that you would get in a real camera. Uh, all right, I think that looks perfect. Um, so now that I'm done with it, I can go to export. I can either share this uh, image or I can save it. So let me go ahead and save it, and we can compare the the first pineapple image and then the second one. So now that I've saved the image, we can uh, go ahead and compare the first pineapple photo and then the, the one that I created. Uh, whoops. So let me go and find the original pineapple photo. Just the pineapple, it's pretty boring. Then if we take a look at the edited photo, it's looking really nice, really awesome. So that's about it for this app. Thanks for watching and have a great day.